redesigned a fiberglass waste tank that receives solvent at a rate of 2.4 cups per minute during manufacturing operations. The plant has averaged a total runtime of 7,128 hours annually for the past five years, and an average of 35,750 pounds of waste is emptied from this tank every month. It is cleaned out every three months to remove the tank heels which accumulate at the bottom. Calculate the amount of tank heels removed from the tank every three months. Is it A, 1.1, B, 3.3, C, 1.34, or D, 4.02? Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you completed the problem? Let's see if you got the right answer. Whenever you're solving waste management problems, you need to remember the rules of mass balancing. Number one, you need to account for all parts of the material balance, whether it's accumulation, disposal, or generation. Number two, you need to normalize your units so you can add and subtract the different parts of the system more easily. And last but not least, you need to convert your units to the desired answer because most times they will be different. So within this waste system, we have generation, accumulation, and disposal. And in any closed engineering system, generation minus accumulation minus disposal equals zero. But we're solving for accumulation, which equals generation minus disposal. So let's look at our facts. We have the waste generation rate, the specific gravity of the waste, as well as the hours of operation. We also have the amount that we're disposing of each month from this waste tank, but we do not know any accumulation rates. So this is what we're gonna be solving for. So our first step will be normalizing our units. Right now, our waste generation rate is in cups per minute. But using some unit conversions, we can convert this into pounds per year, which are very similar units to our waste disposal rate. And we get an answer of 535,027 pounds. But remember that most unit conversions are based on the density of water and not your waste. So remember to multiply by the specific gravity to get your correct answer, which is 438,722 pounds of waste annually. We'll divide the amount of waste generated annually by 12 months, and we'll get the amount that we generate monthly, which is 36,560 pounds. Now we can easily subtract the amount of waste that we dispose of monthly from the amount that we generate, and we get an answer of 810 pounds of waste that accumulate each month. We'll multiply by the time period that the tank is cleaned out, and we get an answer of 2,000 430 pounds of waste accumulated. So we have the correct answer, but now we need the correct units. So using some unit conversions to convert from pounds to tons with an E, we get an answer of 1.1 tons with an E, which is answer A. Always double check to make sure you're using the correct units. Join us for episode three of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.